welcome to an unboxing of a product that um, is not a retail product, so like there's no proper packaging inside, but I cannot emphasize enough that if you buy a D-Link router, it will not come with no packaging inside, inside the box. But I want to talk about the DHP1320 and what is special about this particular router. This uses a Qualcomm chipset that allows not only wired and wireless operation, but also power line operation built right into the router using the, and I can never remember this number, the 1905.1 standard. So what that means is that just by installing this router in your home, you have the flexibility to use either a wired connection to say the computers that are in the same room or that you can easily run a wire to, wireless to your mobile devices, and then power line to things like televisions in the future that adopt this standard, um, things like just regular power line adapters, even from other brands. Right now, interoperability between brands is something that Powerline doesn't really uh, doesn't really feature. So that's something that we're going to have due to due to this new standard. And uh, so let's let's talk about the router a little bit here. So this is uh, okay. Sorry, the DHP thirteen twenty, and it's got a little note here: a DHP three hundred six AV or uh, W three hundred six AV adapter is required to create a power line network. But the one that I'm going to be demoing when I do my NCIX Tech Tips is going to be from a completely different brand, just to emphasize that as long as the device complies to this standard, it is. Going going to work. So, okay, do you like green power? Think green. It's designed to conserve energy, all that good stuff. So, that's kind of neat. So, power saving by link status, power saving by cable length, so it doesn't use more power to transmit a signal than it has to. Power saving by wireless LAN scheduling and an on-off button that you can use to turn it off when it's not in use. Whole home coverage with no unsightly cables. Yes. I, I if you guys have watched my videos a fair bit, you know that I'm a huge advocate of Powerline. I love Powerline, and what this does is it actually makes it even better. So, so the convenience of Wi-Fi, so this is a Wi-Fi N300 router, and then on the back, okay, you know what, let's just start looking at it. Here we go. This is the router itself, and I apologize for it being beat up. This is like uh, an eval sample that sort of made the rounds before it's, uh, before it's gotten to me for me to have a look at and see if I'm as impressed once I actually try it as I am when I hear about the initial technology. So you guys will have to subscribe to my NCIX Com channel if you want to see that video where we're actually going to try it out. I can tell you now it's pretty heavy for a router. We've got some ventilation holes on the front. Remember, power line adapters often get quite warm and that's one of the reasons they're often positioned away from the wall. So I can see why, yeah, you've got vent holes on the bottom, vent holes on the side, vent holes on the front because all of that power line technology is now in here as well as a router, a switch, and a wireless access point. So there's a whole lot of technology going on in here. We have a WPS button as well as, a, yeah, there's no manual, so I'm going to have to rely on someone to post a comment and tell me what that one does. Uh, on the back, we have three LAN ports, a WAN port. So instead of having a five-port switch, this has a four-port switch built into it. We can actually put it in AP mode or router mode. That is a very handy little button to have. And that's one of the cool things about this particular standard is that it also allows you to use device whether they're little power line access points or whether they're wireless extenders very very easily with very minimal setup so that's what's going to allow you if one device is not enough to cover your home you can actually set up repeaters in order to make sure that with a couple of devices you can get full coverage so I guess that's one of the reasons they might want you to be able to put this in access point mode so you can just buy another one plug it into an existing power line connection uh, or rather right here <laughs> right power line and then use it as an AP We've got a reset switch, USB for storage, the on off switch is right there, and AC in. So the AC in, check this out, and it, a uh, router that doesn't use a power brick. That's one of the other reasons it's heavy, because it has an internal power supply, because that power supply is not only powering the device, but also acting as a power line network. So if you don't understand how power line network works, it uses the cables in your walls, the wires in your walls, to transmit data as well as electricity, rather than using an ethernet cable if something's far away. It can actually go through your circuit breaker and access your entire house. I've even used it in a warehouse before that was 
a few thousand square feet away from where I had my, uh, my actual router and one power line adapter, and then I used a notebook way, way, way far away, and it still worked just fine. So that's the key difference here. Instead of needing an Ethernet cable to a power line adapter to an extension cable to the wall, now your router has already made your entire home network power line ready just by plugging it in. So thank you for checking out my little video about, I guess it was sort of about the DHP1320, but what it's really about is the, yeah, see, I forget the number again, the 1905.1 standard, which is going to allow us to more easily network our homes using Powerline.